Hi everybody. Today we're going to work on creating a vinyl uh, image, something that we can have as a vector, but that will be able to be cut in vinyl. That's only going to be one color. So we need to make sure that if we have two objects on top of each other, we can show the difference in them, have some kind of spacing so we show that that's there. Um, and we'll play around more with, with uh, Adobe Illustrator here. So let's see what we're going to do right now. Okay, so here's our screen. Here's my blank screen here, and I have a couple images I'm going to take. So the first thing I'm going to take is a, a map of the U.S. and place that in there. And let's just adjust that size. Um, so obviously I can just do it this way. Um, if we have the transform tools along the side, we can also just lock everything in and take my width and drop it down to whatever I think. So let's see if five will do, uh, or maybe I'll do like 4.8. So there we go. All right. So there was that was two ways of doing it, dragging it or just adjusting it in the middle uh, with the numbers. OK, so that's good there. And right away, I'm going to image trace. Now, image trace, when I click on it for my quick actions, I have all these ac actions and I'm just going to want to do black and white logo. Um, so if you are trying to fine tune things, let's say you have a black and white image and you want to get rid of the white as much as possible. You could also go up to your object and find an object, your um, image trace. So if I look at shape, um, I'm sorry, no, not shape, image trace right there. And I can do make same thing. Now, this is where we'd be able to fine tune your um, image trace. So I'm going to go up to my options. Um, and I could either go with the presets like I was talking about, black and white, um, but you could also go and fine tune. So if I said I wanted a black and white, I could hit advanced, okay, and try to match it up. It looks pretty, pretty good as it is, but I could change things if I wanted to get more paths and see what, what looks better for me, okay? Um, another key thing is to ignore white because maybe I, I, I'm going to have a lot of white and every time you have a, a new object that's a different color, it's not that it cuts it away unless you ask it to. It's more that it creates its own white shape on top of the image. Okay, talking about, and we don't have any real things on the inside here, but it's easy to click ignore white. Might as well do that and make, make it easier. So then I won't have to worry about deleting things off. All right, so that looks good to me. Um, I had my preview and I could go ahead and do it that way. Um, or again, I could just go to my tracing result. Now, here's so here's my tracing result and I'm just going to expand. And don't forget, you trace it and then you have to expand it. And the expanding will then create all those lines and anchor points that you need. Boom, there's my expanding. Now, it looks like there's some white inside, which is fine. So to fine tune it, oh no, it's gone. All my white is gone. As you saw here, that little bounding box, okay, right? Because that's covering a full rectangle, you know, whatever that smallest rectangle would be that covers the entire image. If you saw when you click direct selection tool, that's still a bounding box. That's when you could delete away white pieces that um, if you had not clicked ignore white. All right, so anyways, there's my USA. That looks great. Let's add a logo. So here is going to be my wrestling logo that I'm going to drop right in there. All right. So let's see what we got here. It's way too big to start with. I can't really drag this way right now. So I am going to adjust with again with my width. Um, I'm going to see if I can do maybe a three here. Now notice that I have this locked so that I'm going to maintain the same aspect ratio, right? It's going to stay proportional. Um, as I do this. So I'm going to change this value to three and see if that's what I like. Nope, a little more than, or I need to get a little smaller than that. Let's go down to 2.5. Uh, not bad. That'll work. Okay, I'll place it about there. All right, so there we go. Yeah, maybe a little bit smaller than that. I can move it around a little bit more too. I'm trying to get those feet and everything to fit in there. All right, so there is my shape. And again, we're gonna do image trace. I'm just gonna do it this way now. Black and white logo, boom. Okay, there's my black and white logo image traced. Um, 
Notice that this time I did not say ignore white, so the white is in here, but that's fine, because once I hit expand, okay, this bound, this white area around it, I can just delete easily by making sure I have the direct selection tool, and I'm just gonna select, I'll select off of it to start with, all right, and let's see if my delete, nope, didn't do it the right way that time, so I'm gonna select in smaller pieces, all right, and now delete. Hit it twice and there it is. So here we go. I have two shapes that are expanded, have it, the anchors around it, all that. But obviously, if it was going to be a um, sticker, you know, let's say you're making a window car uh, sticker um, or car window sticker, then you're going to want to be able to see the differences. And it's only going to be one color. It might be black, white, whatever to put on the back of your car. So to fix this, what I'm going to need to do is get a little bit of an outline separation. Okay, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my object and I'm going to see path. And under path, I am going to hit offset path. Okay, now the reason I don't do outline stroke is I need the actual lines. If I did out, out um, you know, the outline stroke, that might be fine just to see the picture, but out, outline stroke one, the stroke is going to be set to the same width no matter what, so it won't be infinitely expanded, um, and it would not be cut. I'm looking for lines, and so I want you to look here. If I look at my view right now, um, this is what it looks like in the image, but if I'm looking for lines for a, a vinyl cutter to cut, that's what I have right now. Okay, so um, let's go back to it. So I'm back to my preview. I need to get this outer line. All right, so I am going to do path and offset path, just like that. Okay, now you can adjust the width. Notice that I have my preview selected so that I can um, see what I want, you know, see how it is. And that's just a little too much. And that's 0.013. So let's do... 0.05 and hit tab don't hit enter yet yeah that looks a little better okay if you don't like it if you want to go a little higher maybe we could do 5.5 five. a little better yeah I just did a little bit but uh, this is going to be the the space in between those two lines is what I'm going to have to peel away um, that's vinyl so I think that looks pretty good all right so I'm going to hit okay and so here's the shape. Notice there's both shapes are there, but this is one black shape that's on it. And all I have to now do is use a pathfinder and I'm going to subtract away this shape from the USA logo. Okay, so all I need to do is get to my pathfinder, all right, which is right there. And let's see if it'll work. I hit the minus front. Did not work yet. Oh, I got to select both of them. Okay, now lo let's look at my uh, layers. If I don't see layers, I don't want to get that inside one selected. Okay, so I can only, I only want to get one of these selected in here. Do I want that one? I want that one there. Okay, and I'm going to hold the shift down to get the USA. Now I'm looking better. Okay, so now let's go back to the Pathfinder. Minus front. Boom! Look at that. Okay, so I've cut away that other shape into the USA logo, okay? And so I have the other piece showing still, but notice if I hide that, okay, I have this whole area cut away, all right? So that looks pretty good. So now let's look and see if my outline shows what I want to show. So these are going to be separate cuts in here, all right? That's vinyl that I'll be able to peel away and get out of the way there, okay? And the rest is looking pretty good. Now, the other thing I'll do just to kind of show you some fine toning, if you or fine tuning, if you don't really love um, some of the shapes that you got from the image trace, you can always check it out and, and zoom in on certain things. So let's look at Louisiana. And um, I apologize to my family in Louisiana because I am not going to know the exact shape this should look like. But I don't think it looks like that exactly. Okay, so if I have my pen tool, I can first get to the direct selection tool, right? And there we go. There's all my anchors and paths and everything I need to look at. 
But if I don't like it exactly, I can move things around. Okay, I can adjust. That's a handle, so I can adjust the curvature on it. All right, I can adjust that one there. There's another handle. I can also get my, just with a pen tool itself, if I get on a pen tool, I can delete these extra anchors if I think that's easier. Okay, so if I see an anchor somewhere, oh, there's an anchor. It tells me it's an anchor. Boom. All right, and I can clean it up as I go. All right, well, that's it for, for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.